Okay, hello and welcome back to Super Metroid. Last time, we got a good bit of the way through Meridia, and then we died, because we got grabbed by a sand monster. And I'm pretty sure that getting killed and reset back here was probably the best thing that could have happened, because now that we know there's that sand monster thing, we can just kind of completely avoid it. Though we do miss out on the map location, so we'll have to go find that again at some point. But I'm pretty sure that we will just be able to get out of here pretty fine without, now that we know where the, the thing is. Yeah. Now, now that we know that thing is there, we can avoid it so we can dodge that pit. And this is an interesting looking room. So this is definitely so something we were not before. Now we've been able to come here, we should be able to make some headway. I do like that, how they have, uh, you know, you know the thing is there so you can avoid it and you can actually bypass it. So if you know it's there, or you actually just react quick enough, you can just bypass the thing. Wait, is this the same room? Is this the room that I think it is? I think this is actually the room that I think it is. So... Yeah, this is the room that I think it is. So we actually didn't miss anything. I feel stupid now. But if we go in here, we should once again find the map room, get sucked down and find those Metroids. Which, yes, I am pretty sure those are Metroids. We should be able to get back. But now the map room is... I'm pretty sure the map room is down here. Unless this is not the place where the map room is. Unless this is where those baby things are. Yeah, those little... They're baby eye things. Kind of cute. They're kind of cute, but also really creepy. I don't like them. But also, but again, they are kind of cute. I don't know. I have mixed feelings on them. Okay, so uh, we'll use them as platforms now that we know we can freeze them and stand on... Well, again, we know we can freeze and stand on anything that we shoot. So, come on. See, so I, now that I'm slightly learning of the sand mechanics... We should be able to, uh, you know, do it better. Come on! There we go. Okay, run through here. Get out of the sand pit! You probably call it the ant lion's den because it's a sand trap. go. Jump. Jump. So now we know that that one area I went to is just a complete trap because it's fall away blocks. And there's no point in trying to fucks with it. I do like that the sand is a bit of a hindrance to you, but I also don't like it because it's just annoying that, you know, oh, well, now you're immune to, you know, water, but now we gotta find something else that's even more annoying to deal with. Just... Right. Uh, we have to go down here because this gives us the map room. And that is a one-way area out. We'll take the map data. And I probably will uh, want to heal. So, okay. We can't... The side area over there we can't do anything with because those are one-way areas. Um, we, so we have to focus to get over to the boss monster right over on the right side. So to do that... I think what we should do is head back up the Metroid shaft thing, up the shaft we saw the Metroids, go to the right, and go to try and go down. Because that looks like it will lead us to something. At least it could put us on the right track to getting there. Actually, I think uh, actually, no, do we actually, do we have to go out this way? Yeah, we, no, I guess we could probably freeze them, we could be able to flap them our way out. Yeah, we, uh, you know, I'm just not gonna try and do that, I'm just gonna try to actually platform my way out by fighting enemies. Yeah, platform my way out by going in here. Oh, oh! This is a respawn spot. This is a respawn spot. Uh, I will meet you guys back after I restore everything. 
All right, we are back over here now. Destroy all these things. We'll harvest the, uh... Yeah, I, I like to imagine we're just, like, eating the crab meat. We're eating the crab meat to restore our health. I don't know, salmon's, salmon's not like food. I don't know. Maybe that's what the health is. The health is just for, like, eating the, the indigenous animals after roasting them with their plasma beam. Then again, if she's freezing them, that probably wouldn't help. You know, freeze-dried food probably is not that good. But we'll get rid of you. Um, good, some health. That will, uh, reimburse me for the damage you did. But now, we have to go through here again with the sand monsters. The, these little baby eye things. Hopefully we don't get annoyed to death by them, because they are annoying. There we go. Dang it, I want to freeze you, because I use it as a platform. But doesn't matter. We're gonna... We didn't even need to. We didn't even need to anymore, so come on. Come on. There we go. Get away out. Okay, so now... Uh, what's the way out of these things again? Uh... Scan. There we go. Uh, power bomb, right? That should destroy those. Yes, power bomb will destroy those. So now we use this to escape. We go upwards. We go upwards. We should be able to go to the right. That will take us to that place we need to go. Though we probably might have to work our way through those secret areas there. Not gonna bother with anything over there though. Oh, wow, the beam actually works on those things. So, yeah, so I think what we should do is we should focus on trying to get over to here, towards this area over here. Uh, let's... So there's no hidden areas here. I'm glad that I actually picked up the x-ray scope, that that was a good thing. Maybe they just wanted me to get the x-ray scope so that I could find stuff on my own. Nope. Oh, because you actually can freeze, you actually, um, if you're quick enough, you actually can freeze it. Oh, there's multiple of them. Mean. Okay. So, it looks like there's some area underneath here. Which means we should probably use the x-ray scope to uncover things. Scanning. Or is this just like, okay, there's an area underneath here? Oh, there's a... Uh... Oh, no, that just tells you that the stuff you can go underneath them. That it's not a platform. I am stupid. Uh, nope, there's nothing here. No, there actually is nothing here. So... How do we get down there, then? Maybe it's in the room over to the left and to the right? I, I could see that potentially being the case, but I don't know. I mean, if we didn't see anything, you know, over here. But who knows? We could always find something odd. Uh, no. Let's look over here now. See, so there's a thing. The room is here. Uh, no. So there, there is... Then I have no clue where to go now. Well, because if that means if this is not the way to go, then that means there must be a way to go. So maybe we have to go through that elevator thing where we saw the Metroids. Maybe that's the way to go, but I don't think so because I thought we explored that whole area. Like we explored there in the video that we lost, with the video we died in, and then we had to restart everything. But I guess it's possible? Go. Okay. So, if we get dragged down there, we will die. We should probably heal. We need to heal. Okay. So... Maybe it... Yeah, I think that we have to go through that, um... 
that room where we saw the Metroids in. Because it is looking like that's the only way we can actually proceed. Give me health. Why are they not hitting you? So we'll head back up here. Hope. Get rid of you guys. Um, is there anything here? No, there's nothing over here. So I guess, yeah, we do have to go down here. But we're going to need some health. So yeah, it looks like we have to go through this place. This gives us a way out. Question is, how do we get through it? Because this seems like the only way we can go. Maybe we gotta go through that room I didn't even fully explore yet? You know, actually, I probably should. I should probably go find a room where I can just grind enemies to heal. Actually, I can just go to. It. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go up and go to a room I can grind to heal enemies. So yeah, I'll probably be gone for a while. All right, we are back to full. We cannot go through that area yet because the one side of that door is a uh, boss kill door. So we have to go kill the boss. Then we can access the inside of that room, which is good because it's actually an infinite spawning enemy room. So we can actually get full health. And that's what I did because I want to be safe going forward. Because I don't want to die and have to redo all of this for a third time. Right. Back down the shaft. I, I do wonder, like, what we do to get access to that place. Because that looks interesting. So we have to go... We have to go this way, I'm pretty sure. I think that this is the only way we can actually go. And then we have to go through that room that I partially explored. Okay. Oh. So I, I can actually shoot through these walls. Somewhat, actually. Come on. Those things do a lot of damage. Yeah, these things do, I think, 25 damage when they hit me. Which is kind of absurd. I, I, you know what? I can't shoot, I can't shoot through them. It's that... I guess I somehow did shoot through it with uh, how I was positioned. There we go. There we go. Come on. Jump. 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 There we go. Jump. Nope. Almost. There we go. There we go. We got out. I do like that I'm slightly learning how to do the sand mechanics. So that they're actually not as intrusive as I thought they would have been before, but... What we have to do is we have to go down now because the sand, uh, not the sand, uh, there's a one-way missile door there. That is a, that's the map door right there, so we pass that. We don't do anything with this. We just blitz right through here. This is an infinite spawn enemy room, but I can use this just to recover everything later on. If I need to come back, blow that door open. Uh... I, I do like the little details of, like, you can actually see the water on the ground when you step. I love that. Um, that's... Yeah, that's, uh, a, that's a different spot, so that's not where we need to go. We need to go into Meridia, so we need to focus on staying in Meridia. The Prime Meridia. Metroid Prime Meridia. <laughs> Alright. So, where are we in relation? Okay, so we'll go up, then we have to go one uh, one level up, one, not one level, one, uh, one block up, then we can get to this room, which now gives us access to this unexplored room, which I am pretty sure is what we need to do. So I'm pretty sure this is the room with that, like, balloon thing. Yeah. 
Or am I wrong? Okay, so I guess what I have to do is I have to go through a different way through here. I have to come out somewhere on top of this. This is the way to get out of... Oh, that's, this is a ball return. This is a... Alright. That makes sense now. That makes sense. Whew. Just be careful with platforming. Try to not get hit unnecessarily. Avoid avoid fights when avoid fights when unnecessary. Only engage if necessary. That's a shine spark spot. Uh, did we already get the missiles from here, or did we die before we got them? We already got the super missiles. They're good, so don't need to mess with that again. Nope. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to jump. Uh, I need to get... There, I need to get on this. So grapple on to you. And you take me upwards. Pause. Okay, so this is the way that I need to go. There we go. We're up here now. Now we are here, so now we need to get up there. And I know... Oh! I thought I had the grapple beam selected. I, I guess I didn't. I just had my x-ray beam selected. So now swing, 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 swing to wing. This gets me up here now. Can... So now I guess if I grapple this, and start platforming my way. There we go. Um... Oh! No, okay. So, I guess... Uh, so grapple that. One. Back and forth. Back. And up. Okay. No! I, I can actually... I can do it better now. So... It seems to be right when I'm at, like, the maximum speed. And right there, so re release about seeming like four o'clock. There we go. Seems like four o'clock is when I should release it. Uh... Oh, there we go. Now, think. No! Ah, that was so good. Such a great run. It seems to be released around four o'clock. And yeah, four o'clock, get yeah, four o'clock release. I have the utmost respect for, like, speedrunners that can do this on their first try every time. But then again, they probably have played these games so many freaking... How did I miss that? How did I miss that? They've played this, like, so many times that they could probably do this game blindfolded. But that would be cool to see someone try to do a game blindfolded. You know, just knowing, okay, this is, like, the amount of frames or something is. It's the amount of time. But then again, they probably do need to have, like, visual things to know how to do everything. So probably playing a game blindfolded is not that easy.